Yo, how's everybody doing? Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I'm so happy about this, uh, this interview we have going on tonight. Um, I'm really, really excited. Let me just get everything set here really quick. All right, big thank you to everyone who's in chat right now. Um, as all of you know, or most of you know, um, I won't be interacting with chat that much um, at the beginning um, or during the interview. But if you guys have questions for Neato Queen, please uh, save them till the end. I will be opening it up for community questions at the very end of the interview. Um, yeah, big thank you to Neato Queen for taking the time to do this interview. It really means a lot, especially on Valentine's Day, um, taking time away from the family to do this. Uh, yeah, so let me unmute her. Let me see. All right, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I had to clear my I'm throat. I'm amazing. <laughs> no, you're totally good. <laughs> All right, let me, uh, let me get into, there we go. Oh, wrong screen. All right, perfect. I think we're good. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Of course, I'm super man. excited. I think you're, Me too. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to get these games loaded up. How um, How's Valentine's Day been so far? It's been good. We I had some sushi. We had, I bought sushi for Kevin. And Kev bought me a gift yesterday, so I bought us dinner today. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> um i hope uh i'm not like taking you away from like valentine's day plans no nah, no kevin's playing right. rocket league right now oh, <laughs> we're <there you> go. <laughs> playing rocket league yeah yeah that's we don't perfect. have anything special planned though no. that sounds like the perfect like valentine's day evening <laughs> it's been pretty chill yeah i didn't want to have to worry about anything crazy yeah awesome um all right we're gonna kick things off um I hunted um, his question was Nino Queen who? <laughs> yeah, uh, hunted trying to roast me a little <laughs> bit. I actually cast with hunted on Saturdays, so that's where I got to meet him. And I guess I know who he is a little bit now, but he he's a he's the guy. I'm just uh, I'm just somebody who who plays a lot of Rocket League and likes yeah. to make friends. So I figured I would start streaming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is casting something you've like started to do regularly? Um, I do it every Saturday for the Women's Carball Championship uh, League, which is basically just like a women's league. That's um, amazing. It's amazing. It's so yeah. much fun. I just basically reached out to them one day, like, because they were like, "Oh, why don't you join the league?" And I was like, "I'm I'm a ones player. Like, I don't I'm not I'm not much of a threes <laughs> player." Um, but hey, if you need any casters, let me know. Sorry, I was double coming. No, you're good. That's very cool. And where where is that um, cast broadcast at if people wanted to stop by and watch? Um, it's on the Crimson Wings Gaming Twitch. Okay. I always like I'm always tweeting about it when I when I do go and cast. So Perfect. if anybody needs to know the link, I usually tweet it out. Is Perfect. I can go in? Uh, no. No, of course not. <laughs> yeah. It's close. I was like, oh. Cool. Um. All right, let's go back to the very beginning. Baby Nito Queen. Um, yes. When did you first start playing video games? Wow. Um, well, I I can honestly couldn't tell you because my <laughs> mom was a huge gamer and she started like teaching my brother how to play games. Yeah. And then two years later, you know, like I was born after my brother. So we started playing games for probably around the same time and I was really small. I, I remember kind of watching my mom and my brother play through Nintendo games, like, oh, yes, I can't believe I got that. Yeah, but I, uh, I remember, um, just watching them play for a long time, and then eventually, like, finally sneaking my way into playing when I was really yeah. tiny. She <laughs> had like the dopest mom in existence. Yeah, she, she's the best. <laughs> yeah, that's why, like, I, I guess, like. I always found it strange when people were like, oh, you're a girl and you play video games. It's like, yeah, I mean, my mom taught me how to play video games. Like, how, how, how rare is it for that to be? I don't know. I think it was rare even like, cause right, we're the same age. And I honestly yeah. think it was just rare for like parents, a lot of parents to, to be like, involved. Yeah. Even like be involved or even like let their kids play video games for like long periods of time. So yeah, she started cool. playing games. Like, I guess like, Whenever they first came out, her dad like bought it for for all of her siblings. She had like uh, three other um, siblings, and so they I guess they were just cool parents too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess so. 
Whoops. Hey, there you nice go. Job, nice job. Thank you, thank you. I'm a little warmed up from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Main, maining ones earlier. Exactly. Um, what was your favorite video game from when you can remember you started playing video games? Um, I play the Pokemon series nice. pretty religiously. Yep. Um, I played Zelda, uh, like all the Zelda titles, except classic. for the um, the classic. Like on, I don't remember playing like the the very first Zelda. I think it was like Link to the Past or something. Okay. I don't remember, but I did play um, Ocarina and Majora's Mask on N64. I think that's where I really first started on N64. But Nintendo games are at my core. Like I've always been a Nintendo gamer. Rocket League is really the first competitive game that I started playing. I was really more of like an RPG or like I played a lot of The Sims too. Yeah, yeah. Up. yeah I so. always wanted to play. Oh, I'm going too fast. Okay. Um, I always wanted to play Sims, but I never, never got into it. Um, yeah, no, it was just like one of those things where I finally had a good enough computer to, to run it. And I think I started playing Sims 2. I didn't play the first Sims, but I played okay. Sims 2. And I was addicted to it. <laughs> Um, when did you first discover Rocket League? Like, was it when it first came out? <laughs> um, I love telling the story on my stream, actually. Um, <laughs> but I first, I first uh, played Rocket League like in my friend's basement one day. We, it was like. Rocket League had been out for I think <gasps> half a year at that point, maybe longer, uh, but it was still pretty young. Like, okay. um. I'm not sure. I we went down into his basement. We were like, oh, I don't know, like, what are we gonna do? And he's like, oh, yo, let's play Rocket League. And it was me, and my friend Noah, Eric, and I. And Eric had already played it before. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, let's play. And I was like, well, what is this? Because I it didn't it didn't make any sense when you oh yeah, let's yeah. play Rocket League. And it I'm never, thinking it like never does the first time jumping on the game. Right. I'm thinking like comets and shit. Yeah. I don't know, <laughs> or like rockets in the space. So we get on. And he's like, oh, it's just like soccer with cars. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, I can get down with this. Like, it's just like a whatever game. That's what I thought of it at first. Yeah, yeah. Um, I spent, we spent like two hours in the garage solely just making cars. <laughs> and then, and then after that, I was like, oh shit, yeah, we can play the game. And uh, we started playing. And I was like, so what do you, what do you have? What are the controls? And he was like, well, you figure it out. And I was like, okay. And so I just started playing from there. You're like, like car designs whole... are life. <laughs> right, right. And he, uh, I would just go over there. Uh, as much as I could because I wanted to play the game over the summer yeah. and then I had to go back to school and that was when I stopped playing Rocket League and I hit depression. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but I, I actually ended up building a computer just to play this game. No way. Yeah, just because I, I couldn't not play it while I was away. I was like, you know what? So really Rocket League was the first <laughs> level of your life. It was the first game I feel like where I was like fully on addicted. Like I played through all the Nintendo games, but I wasn't like, yeah. it wasn't competitive. I didn't like try and find the perfect Pokemon uh, or grind for like a shiny or anything like that. Like it was all just like casually. I'd play through the whole game. Oh, this is fun. And then I'd move on yeah. to the next. But with Rocket League, uh, yeah, it was a different breed of game. I don't know why I was not, I'm not a very competitive person. Like. I'm one of the people that I love sports, but I'm always like, yeah, I'm just here to have fun. Like, I don't care if I win or lose. And um, it kind of changed, I guess, when I started playing Rocket. Yeah. I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> oh, he got that. I'm watching. I think we'll be okay. I'm <laughs> I not. I think we'll be good. <laughs> I play a I lot of casuals, so yeah. sometimes my casual MMR is kind of scary. <laughs> Yeah, because I think I think a lot of people. I saw a lot of people like mention like they're surprised at your like competitive rank. You Me? Know, like, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they. Yeah. yeah, they would be surprised. It's like I don't play a lot of ranked, and yeah. I think that Rocket League is a game that if you're not grinding from day one, like it actually becomes pretty difficult to to gain rank. Because I did, yep. I would play ranked occasionally here and there, but I never would like grind up. I actually just went on what is called like ballchasing.net or something. Um, and I found out like all my stats. Apparently I started playing like regularly in um, like at the end of season two. Okay. So, and then at the beginning of season three, I didn't play any ranked. And then season four, I, f I played ranked for the first time and I got placed. You were like, what is this? <laughs> right. I, and I played, it told me I played like 11 games of ranked. So that means I've got placed and then I didn't play after that. So um, I didn't play ranked for a very long time. Oh my gotcha. god. Yeah. That that's is a, so that's a long that is a long time. 
Yeah, so, I mean, I was just a sweaty casual. Like, I was just playing with friends all the time. A lot of the time, I was not sober, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, so, and, yeah, I, I, it wasn't until I met Kevin where I started thinking about this game in a different light, like, yep. competitively and trying to improve and stuff yeah. like that. Um, that actually leads perfectly into the next question. So you guys are married, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. well, no. Well, no. I, it, it almost feels like I, I consider, yeah, like he's my husband already, but yeah, yeah, no, yeah. we're not married yet. We, um, we are engaged okay. Um, okay. to be married. Yeah, yeah. I thought I just wanted to make sure before I Yeah, so no saying, worries. I can't, I yeah, yeah I was just like, so I'm excited about it. I can, I can tell, <laughs> but no, we're not yeah, married yeah. yet. Cool. Um, okay. Do you guys ever get tired of answering people's questions about <laughs> <laughs> how you met <laughs> um the question that we i think i don't get tired of asking uh, like answering how we met because it, it's yeah, actually yeah. a really s pretty sweet story and and stuff like that but um sometimes you know we're just playing rocket league casually and we have we have these <laughs> titles they're fantastic like literally this is the only the only gripe i have about these titles is the amount of times people will ask us what they mean <laughs> Um, because... I feel like I've never <laughs> seen that before. Um, right. It's like, oh, what does it mean? Or how do I get that title? It's never, like, really that they want to know what it's about. More of, like, oh, I how want I, it. Yeah. Like, how do I get it? <laughs> and, and then, and, then, and it kind of feels disheartening to tell them, like, oh, you really... It's it's t it's tough. Like, it's like I you gotta, wouldn't you recommend start. for you to work for it. Like, <laughs> uh, it's just, like, by chance, so... Um, yeah, no, but there are some times where we get really thoughtful responses, like, oh, congrats and stuff, but at times... This is that's why I like nowadays I don't answer a lot of the time, um, but at times like they'll ask a question I'll answer and then they won't say anything else and leave immediately and then I feel like Google. That's so I feel random. Like a search engine and I'm like, dude, you could have typed that same question and got the response on Google. Like, I don't, if you want to have an interaction with me, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. But if you're just like fishing for an answer, I feel feel weird. So yeah. I've stopped answering it. I don't mean it in a toxic way. I just mean it like. You will find the answer, just not for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eventually, um, people will know about it more, though, and it won't be a problem. Of course. Like, after this interview, everyone will know. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. Do you, do you mind telling us, like, a quick version of the story? Yeah, um, well... Just in case there's somebody out there who needs aw, to hear sure. this. sure. For sure. Uh, I oh, mean... hello. Uh, I th thankfully like when I I had asked um, Durkin, the community specialist for Psionics, oh, yeah. to to get us the date of the match we met in because I wasn't we weren't a hundred percent sure, and that's how we ended up getting the title along with it. Um, but it was <laughs> oh nice one. It was like an early afternoon. Um, it was probably it was in December seventh, and it was at. 9 20 a.m but it was that's in pdt so for us it was probably like 11 or 12 in the afternoon which is pretty odd time for us to be queuing up anyway but i queued up a casual twos match and i ended up being matched up with my friend kevin and uh my friend zach now we're, 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 we're friends now well, my friend kevin my fiance <laughs> kevin um and we just we started playing a few casual matches and zach uh, his title or his name on Rocket League was at the time was ZZZ and then number one blind player. So it started a conversation because you know I asked him like, "Well, how blind are you really?" Because this guy <laughs> was doing things that I could never imagine doing in this game, like yeah, feeling shotting and yeah. like freestyling, and I was just so impressed by him. Um, but basically, it started up a conversation where I found out about Zach and. How he has this condition where, yeah, he's slowly um, going blind and he, he can't see very well. His camera controls are like super close up and like, oh, wow. Um, he like, he has struggles with vision. There's some maps that he can't play on because they're way too bright. Yep. Um, and he can't tell where the ball is and stuff like that. Yeah. So we kind of just became friends after that because they invited me to the Discord and I was like, yeah, because it just, just seemed like good vibes all around. Like, yeah. yeah. Good conversation with GGs, no toxicity. Like we were in it, the game for the same reason, like just to have fun and make friends. And so Kevin and Zach had also met playing Rocket League, as many people do. I think a lot of people meet their like close friends just playing games. You Absolutely. Know? Um, and that was just basically. I made a few other friends like playing Rocket League, so it wasn't any different. You know, I was yeah, just yeah. making friends. 
um, but yeah, no, one thing led to another. I, I uh, was living in Wisconsin and Kev was in Michigan and I was like it's in a weird situation. Far, yeah, I was in a weird situation and I was able to kind of like vent to them uh, just because we had started playing Rocket League so often together. Um, and it turns out that Kev and I, like both of us were musicians and like really into music and so you know, cool. both of us were really into Rocket League, like <laughs> to an extreme extent. Uh, um, there's just so many similarities that were coming up. Um, and you were like, I, I love you. <laughs> right. Well, but, well, it was more of like, I just really admired him and um, I ended up like deciding like, yo, I want to go in and meet you yeah. and actually we found out that zach lived like 10 minutes away from me so kev had an opportunity to meet the both of us that way um like a, a long time like rocket league friend and then and then he got to meet me and yeah the rest is pretty much history i Oops. i just yeah he's a he's a cutie yeah so <laughs> it, it was easy after after i met him and stuff to to kind of decide like yeah this person seems right, right. for me there you go. <laughs> Um, do you encourage people to use Rocket League as a platform to meet their lifelong partner? No, no, <laughs> no, I don't like, that's the thing. Like I'm actually, don't be out there uh, like, Hey, <laughs> right. Like do, I, 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 I have one piece of advice for people who think my story is endearing and stuff like that. And it's, if you want to meet somebody to be like your lifelong partner, yeah. you just have to be nice to everybody and make friends with everybody. And that should be your goal at any point in time to create a friendship with a person. Absolutely. You know, like that you want to spend the rest of your life with. It's not about, oh, I need to find a girlfriend or I need to find a boyfriend. You need to find a friend. And yes. then after you find that friend, <laughs> you need to you need to think seriously like, okay, like yeah, like how compatible am I with this person? Cuz you cuz a lot of it is is based on, you know, initial attraction and stuff like that. But it's Absolutely. like people don't realize like there's so much more to just be initially attracted to somebody. Yeah. So to be able to find a friend and just not have any expectations at all ever, you it will you will find like how easy it is to just fall into that sort of relationship because you're yeah. just being friendly to everybody. And I'm not saying you're getting into tons of relationships and you're having no, I'm saying just like look at everybody like a human being yeah. and of if things work out they they will just work out like if <laughs> people make it they're like pursuing too much and it just they just need to be yeah. good people you yeah. know and that's how it works yeah. <laughs> when did you start streaming i started streaming almost two years ago now which is crazy because it like feels like it just like i blinked and yeah. now i'm here but um and you're not you're not partner yet no, right? okay. I'm not. I'm the trajectory is looking good. Trauma. Yeah. <laughs> it's looking good. I did I apply. Say, I had to like double check three places because I was like, <laughs> right, I felt you like, like you huh? should be. And I was like, it, it's one of those things where people are like, how are you not part of it? Yet? And it's just, it, it, it does get tricky. Like I have applied now. This is my third time. So third time's a charm yeah. type of thing. Um, I was I was expecting to get rejected first, and so I wasn't disappointed. Right. The second time, they're really strict with the 75 co-current viewer. Like, one day I streamed outside of my schedule, and I, I, I will be myself up for, forever, but okay. one day I streamed outside my schedule, and I had a pretty low average, and as much as I had fun that stream, like, it doesn't, it does, it's like, Twitch sees numbers, and they're like, okay, yeah. so they did, like, immediately after that stream, my co-current viewership went to, to, like, 73 instead of 75 or something, and, and they were like, like screwed. Yeah. And they were like, no, but it was, like, the whole average. Yeah. Like, I don't know, it was weird. But, yeah, yeah it's looking fine now. I'm just waiting for their response, and cool. I'm, again, like, I'm, I'm treating partnership like a stepping stone but like it's not something that it's like yeah we got partner it's like it's over it's like it's over no, now no, no. It's like, no I've heard like, that's what just... a lot of partners say like you know like hey partnership is not the end of the road like you have to keep pushing afterwards it's just like right yeah. um a lot i think it's a good opportunity to kind of say this but like a lot of people focus too much on that and they don't realize that it's more about building a community uh, as a whole and yep. continuing it. Cause like, it'll, like, that's the thing. Like, I'll, I, even if I get rejected this time for partner, um, I would be okay with it knowing where I'm headed now. And I would just try and continue what I'm doing. And I know that eventually it will happen. Like I, I'm confident that it will. So it's just one of those things where I, 
kind of just have to continue to do my thing and change if, if something's not working. I think a lot of people just put too much focus on it, and then after it's over, it it kind of like takes the hype away from what they're trying to do because it was too much of just oh I need partner instead of yep. oh I'm trying to you know Grow you know community. make friends and build yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So yeah, I'm just big chilling with it. I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> just, it's just it, the only thing is like, yeah, I, I get people saying like, oh, aren't, aren't you partners? Like, no. But we're just big chilling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did do you feel like you ever had like a breakthrough moment um, since you started streaming that really kind of like? It's <gasps> a good question. Was there a certain um, point where you really started to see things like increase? Yeah, actually, it was kind of like, it was kind of like a slump moment almost, because I had a really great first year of streaming. Yeah. Um, and I I ended up pushing past. Um, I, I was just talking about this earlier today, but I ended up pushing past a thousand subscribers on Twitch, and that's kind of silly. Wow. Like I, that sounds really insane. That's and insane. At the, um, at that point, like it, it was looking really good for me to getting partner, and then I started to like. Um, seriously look at the quality of my streams and I was realizing like I wasn't having fun sometimes while I was live there was a lot of times where like I look back at my VODs and I was kind of disappointed at the quality of stream I was putting out I was putting out a very negative like energy because I was in this point in my gameplay where I was being told that I was bad a lot um but I thought I wasn't so bad because I had never been exposed to people watching my gameplay yeah. for so long yeah yeah um, so I started comparing myself to people that were way out of my, like, <laughs> reason to compare myself to, and... Which is easy to do. Absolutely, and I, and I just started getting really down about myself. I stopped streaming, I, I, maybe, like, two months where I streamed a couple of times a week, and I, as a full-time streamer, that's not ideal, because it's my income, and I... Right. I, I lost, like, half of the subs, and then eventually, like, it, it went back down to, like, the solid base that I was, like, actually at. I was, like, 200 subs, and I was feeling pretty low, and I was thinking, like, oh, what have I done? Like, I've lost everything. I can never get it back. <laughs> um, but then I had to just kind of reevaluate why I was streaming and, yeah. like, what I wanted to do. And if I was see and, like, the, the one thing that was really getting in the way of me getting better was just my mentality and, like, feeling like I was garbage and like yeah. I was trash and I was saying it out loud during stream about how bad I was and um or how bad I thought I was I should say um but now uh after like that whole couple of months of like feeling like I had failed yeah I had like told myself I was like no like this is just like again like a stepping stone of learning that you can't like expect anything and you just have to continue to improve and focus on your own self absolutely to 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 succeed and then i wanted and then i felt really strongly that i wanted to teach other people this and in the context of rocket league as in we can all continue to improve and be proud of our improvements yes. without having them being overshadowed by like everybody else better. in the community yeah. and people who who brag uh, about their skill and stuff and then us feeling like inferior about our own um so I feel yeah like that's, I was... a, that's a big thing though in rocket league like there's always gonna be someone who's better than you like right always of course even the pros like they're oh, yeah. they're struggling to catch up to each other all the time so it's like a lot of the the stuff that i was seeing on social media is just involved like this negative air around ranks Absolutely. and skill and you could be doing everything in your power you could be in gc already and i was seeing people calling themselves trash <laughs> i was seeing people calling themselves garbage and like oh but i'm you know i i can't even do this or that and it's like i think it's a defense mechanism though like oh yeah to, like, for sure do, i can agree call, with it that. To your, call yourself it before you know they do or someone else does you know for sure but yeah but at the same time it, it becomes so so toxic because it's like per, it's perpetuated by everybody that like is in the same kind of bubble of conversation so yeah. like the act like the vocal active rocket league community on twitter for example i felt like had a very overwhelmingly negative tone like there was just a lot of like 
um, sadness within within people who are the top percentage of players. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, why are you so upset? It's like <laughs> it's it has to do with a lot of things. Like it has to do with the fact that Rocket League is a really young game. There's not a lot of opportunities for these players. So like they correlate it to their skill, and then they're thinking they're garbage and they're typing it out, and then everybody else below them is saying <laughs> these people are 1700 MMR and they're calling themselves trash. What am I? Yeah. You know. Yeah. So super trash. Super mega trash. Like <laughs> I am. Yeah. Like I'm the stuff that's stuck at the bottom of the garbage that they, that will stay there for life. You know. You're the compost. No. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um. And uh, like joking aside, like it started to become like annoying because I knew so many of these people were not bad. Yeah. Like they weren't gonna be pros. Yeah. Or you know you're you're not they're not but they're not striving to be pros like right. they're just regular ass people they got their own lives and they're comparing themselves to people who have who grind like oh my 10 god. hours a day <laughs> oh my god kevin just sniped this oh my god <laughs> he's in this match with us hey kevin he's got the, he's got the title also you can like look at this <laughs> but um he's a pk that's cute uh anyway uh no yeah so i <laughs> that my my breakthrough moment i guess and where i kind of started to forget about like numbers and like where I was at with stats and stuff and where I felt like I was really organically building like a community and like friendships with people that were like long lasting uh, was when I decided to um, change my mentality yep. and I did that I chose to do that by playing 1v1s yeah. um, I subjected myself to that because <laughs> I felt like I feel like it does if really. If you can break overcome you. that, you can overcome anything. Right, and it's just one of those things where you're every single one of your mistakes is like put out there for you to see. And if you're gonna get emotionally worked up about it, you're never gonna get any better. So it's like, I had to really like. It was like I tell everybody this. It's like fake it till you make it. Like, I was tilting so hard on stream, yeah. but I would be smiling like through my like <laughs> green teeth. Like this is fine. I'm having so much fun, and after like a couple of months of doing that it just stopped happening i stopped being mad i stopped blaming myself i started realizing like i have to let it happen in order for it to never happen again like i had a coaching session with uh verge yeah just one coaching session on because i really wanted to know what it was that were my were my worst habits and he really opened my eyes to you know how you should look at the game uh from my level and the biggest thing that he taught me was, you know, rank, you're always going to be deranking and ranking up because you're learning new things. And if you correlate your skill, like to your rank, like it's going to discourage you because of course there's going to be times you're going to derank if you're learning yeah. something new, if you're trying to uh, focus more on something, like let's say you have bad boost management like me, you're focusing a lot on conserving boosts. Maybe you're forgetting to do some other things at first because you're focusing really hard on that one thing. So yeah, you're gonna de rank. But as soon as you like get it all, all worked into your gameplay and it's something new that you learned, you'll rank up past where you were because yep. uh, that's just how learning works. But yeah. people are like, oh, I'm not ranking up. I'm not getting better. It's like, no, <laughs> that's not how that should work. It's you like, know? You, gotta, so, you gotta fail enough times to where you get to yeah. your system, but. Oh. Yeah. So that's kind of like what it kind of answers a lot of questions like my breaking point also just like I guess the my the purpose of why I'm streaming and I think that's really important I think everyone should like figure out their goals and like what what they're trying to impress onto like the community that yes. they're involved in you know yeah so that's awesome yeah because yeah, every time we come into your stream it's very like positive vibes and stuff and like I that's can, the goal i can tell like yeah it's very clear like that's the message and that's you know what you're trying to get across there which is awesome so thank you yeah and sometimes that's difficult to do so yeah i gotta <laughs> rein it in i gotta rein it in sometimes but it's even usually even with good. the toxic people you're just like hi thank you for being here it's, it, that's um <laughs> that's the best way to deal with toxic people uh, the best thing i do look, m my favorite thing I do is if somebody says something really mean, yeah, I will say their name and be like, "Oh, hey, so and so, how are you? Welcome to the stream." Yeah, and then I'll be like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah," and then I'll kind of like be reading their message and be like, "Oh," and then you'll see them say, "Oh, hey, oh, I was joking," <laughs> you know, like, and I'm and like, like, "Oh, bye. okay, yeah, sure." I usually just ignore them after that. Yeah. Like, 
because yeah that's a bad first impression but yeah that's the best thing because they don't expect you to be all nice yeah, they yeah. want you to react mean immediately and then they then they feel horrible after you're just like oh and then you kind of move on from whatever it was it's yeah, the best yeah. thing. <laughs> what's your most what's been your most embarrassing moment on stream so far I've had so many embarrassing moments. Oh, no, um, that was a good shot. Oh, I, I yeah, I've had my power go out on stream once. I mean, I've owned gold several times live. Um, <laughs> I uh, I have, like, fully fledged, like, scored on myself thinking I was, like, scoring on the other team. No way. Yeah, because I'm so spaced out. I'm like, yeah, and then I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> That's not my name. I'm, wait. And I'm like, oh, I just own gold. Oh, and then, I'm, I mean, there's so many different instances in Rocket League. I'm trying to think, just the other day, I I was in a private match, and I um, I have, like, I include everybody, so we were trying to get into a private match with some of my subs, and somebody's like, oh, somebody has cross-platform off. And I was like, I tell you guys this every time. Who doesn't have it on? Why do you do this? And I checked, and I didn't have it on. It was me who didn't have oh, cross-platform no. <laughs> I know, and this was after I was like, you guys, <laughs> you guys, I told you, <laughs> like, I was the one who didn't have it off. It got clipped and everything, so yeah. That's My great. chat has a uh, has fun roasting me when I when of I course. do mess up, which is often. So yeah, I don't know have <laughs> any real huge ones like stand out to me. Like that fake Kevin, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's like punching a hole in the wall right now. <laughs> right. Uh, what's been you the just most... hear it on the other yeah. room. <laughs> What's been the most memorable moment on stream for you so far? Probably when Kevin proposed to me on stream. Oh my god, that's how it happened? Yes, he See, proposed even, to me I while I was live. If you go into my clips, um, it is my top clip. Of course. Um, I'll so definitely... you just go to assert by top and it's there. Or if you were in my chat, we'll ever just, we'll exclamation point live proposal. Later. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exclamation point proposal. You'll see me with long hair. It, oh, when I first started streaming, I, mi I miss the hair. I miss the hair so much, but I did have to get it cut. It was very damaged. <laughs> so that is why I no longer have long hair. Um, but yes, that was probably my most memorable moment on stream. That would make sense. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was my birthday stream. Um, that's fantastic. Two years ago, yeah. That's fantastic. Oh, yes. Um, what? Uh, how important do you think Discord is for helping a community grow? Um, I at first Is it necessary thought, or? I don't think it's hugely necessary. Okay. I, I think if you are inclined to talk and and stuff, it's, it's nice. For me... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about PK. Um, uh, for me, like I did not like Discord at first, and I had a Discord, and I I had it was pretty it had grown pretty substantially, but it was just there. Like I never really used it. Yeah, and uh, that's like, kind of where I, I'm at right now. I feel bad. I'm like it's there, and like it's not being um, used at all. <laughs> right. So I basically told myself I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a new Discord and I want to revamp it to where I want how I want it how I want it to be because yep. I think I didn't like it because I didn't know how to use it very well, and yeah. I didn't really understand it, the benefits behind it. But for me, I think the best thing that Discord has has brought for my stream is like a, a, a broader sense of community. Yeah. When I see my, um, the friends that I've made like on stream going to my discord to like form um, parties to play Rocket League or yeah. or even um, they, they're playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege too, I see. I don't play that game, but like <laughs> they've all found that similar, like, like for that game and they play yeah. and I see them in um the voice chats and i try and go in there and be like hi okay I gotta yeah. go back. um but saying good morning and like good night and yep. having a place to vent about like stuff after stream yeah it's a really nice thing to all right have. listen up chat i'm redoing my discord so be ready Jeez, <laughs> yeah so like it, it, it was really therapeutic i spent a day i made a discord look really nice you can you can copy stuff off of my discord i went to a bunch of different discords and i was like what do i like from here and like yeah what would i actually use like yeah and I'm, something that's not super cluttered and that's really logical that you can like organize stuff so it that's i like it love it 
I like it now. It's gonna. It's. It's not like I have goals to become a Discord partner. You have to have ten thousand Discord members to become a partner. Like you have to be like. Honestly, the I didn't most even know there was a thing ever. as Discord partner. Yeah, you can become a Discord community partner. That's like it's insanely difficult. But some people thrive off of Discord. Like I uh, like companies who use it for like um, I guess uh, what is it like troubleshooting their games and shit like that. That's um, crazy. Yeah, but for me, yeah, I've definitely found that it helps me like announce things and also just be able to be a little bit less filtered, I guess. Yeah. Like, because like on Twitter, I, there's a lot of stuff that like I'll write out and I'll be like, I don't actually yeah. think I want to get involved in. And, like, but if I really need to, and then you just go into Discord and just right. I know I can like depend on my community. It's not like I'm saying anything encrypting. You can go no, into no, my no. Discord and like, I I'm not gonna be like talking shit about anybody, but sometimes like when I have a rough day, it's nice to go in there and everyone's like, it's gonna be okay. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. all right, you're right, you're right. You guys gonna be okay. It's like that so, place to vent everything. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, That's yeah. Perfect. It's very yeah. casual, like community um, place, I guess. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's great. That's great to know. Yeah. Let's see. Oops, hold on. Oh, just gonna pinch that really quick. Nice. <laughs> you Are you guys yeah, gonna be just... attending RLCS this year? Also, I wait. Let know. me give a quick shout out to Nether Mason and Sinu Sin Sinu. I don't know how to pronounce Citizens, your name. Yeah. Yes. And also Nether Mason again for all the gifted subs. You guys are oh, insane. Are awesome. I turned the music off um, for during the interview, but thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much. Um, oh, you're awesome. Okay, so back to yes. Um, back to what? RLCS. RLCS. I want to go. I want to go really bad. I am going to DreamHack Anaheim. Okay. Um, I'm actually leaving on Tuesday to Ooh. go back home because I fly out of Chicago and my parents are from um, Illinois, so I'm gonna go back there. It's so much cheaper to fly out of Chicago, so I'm going to. Are you Anaheim. doing O'Hare or Midway? Yeah, O'Hare, O'Hare. Okay. I'm so I'll Chicago. be. <laughs> oh, awesome! What? Uh, do you mind me asking where? No, I'm like right near Wrigley Field, like right down. Not oh, like downtown, you're in Chicago. Okay, like you're gonna hate Chicago. me because <laughs> I'm not in Chicago. But I no, say no, no, that I because you. otherwise I wouldn't. I know there's some people that are like, wow, all these suburbs say they're from Chicago, you're like but they're fake. Not. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I grew up in Aurora and Neighborville, which is like um, it's, a, oh. it's like a pretty. It's like 40 minutes away. Like I'll take the train and it'll take like. 40 minutes to get to the I city. got you. Cool. Um, but yeah, I grew up there. I'll be flying out of Oregon, and then I will be at DreamHack Anaheim. So I have that whole trip in my brain, and I have to have that whole trip be over before I even think about another trip. Yeah. Or I'm going to go insane. So I want to go. Kevin, I don't believe he has any more vacation time. So if I were to stretch bringing Kevin, it would have to be a short trip. So. <laughs> um, yeah. We'll have to we'll have to see. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, on Friday, Monday morning, like he, you know, he's he's gonna be at work late, and I w I wouldn't want to do that to him. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have to we'll have to see uh, if Kevin goes. I'm gonna try and make it though. Perfect. I will I will want to be there. I I think it's one of those RLCSs that's so central that there's gonna be so many people. people there. Yeah. Like I think I I was talking to people about um this, but uh. Landon, like the land in London, has like held this kind of like uh, prestige as being like the best land uh, ever Ooh. because of the amount of people that were there, and it has held that every single time. You know, a land have oh, but Landon was so much better. <laughs> I really, really feel like Dallas is going to top it. Just she sheerly uh, like just the sheer amount of people that will like be there. All the consecrators, yep. all of the like from every little nook and cranny, like like super tiny ones like even the huge ones and then like there are people even that are from eu they're like heck it like i yeah. can go and then yeah, they're yeah. going yeah. so it's it's gonna be an overwhelming amount of people who like live and breathe walk rocket league and i think that it's gonna be felt every single every, day because like yeah. so, like there's a lot of times where it's like the final day is where the energy really gets ramped up but you think i it's think this every single day yeah it's gonna be pretty nutty I think it's going to be a good time because I've been to a few LCSs. My yeah. bad, I was like free jumping. No, like, you're totally people. fine. I just like for, like glitched out for a sec. Oh, it's because somebody was like closing connection or something weird. I don't know what happened, but um, yeah, no, 
it, so it's gonna be we'll see you there great yeah i i don't doubt that i'll make my way there somehow i told people i'd walk there if i have to but i do have a car so You're i like could a map my way like a week before. yeah right <laughs> exactly yeah. oh my god that'd be so bad just, blo god, just vlog it just vlog it right the whole way i got my my vlogging backpack <laughs> I sold my car for this because <laughs> and my it cost goop. that much money. <laughs> and my goop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And my gamer goop. No more gamer goop. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. um, okay, last thing. Guys, uh, everyone in chat, this is going to be the last question as we end this game. Perfect timing. Um, so if you do have any questions that weren't answered during the interview, get them ready because they will be. you'll have an opportunity in just a second. Oh, wow. That's rips. I missed it. Um, you just got a special email today. I did. Are we uh, allowed to know what it's about? <laughs> um, I don't think I can like be specific about it quite yet because okay. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to present the information okay. yet. I got but you. it has to do... Um, I can be pretty vague about it. It has to do with a sponsorship. Okay. And it's my first one ever. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm very amazing. excited. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. And I, yeah, it's it'll, be, it'll be good stuff. You. I can't say, I can't, I guess I can say that it's no, 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 not no, no, with Gamer you. Goo. Oh, okay, okay. Um, because I won't, it's not. I won't make you say anything else. But, but <laughs> yes, I, I, it is with, with, with somebody, with a, with a company that I'm really excited to, to work with. I got so. you, I got you. We won't, yeah. we won't make you talk anymore about it, but congrats, yeah, right? congratulations. Thank you very much. It. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel like it's like uh, it, it. It feels very milestoney. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If that's a word. <laughs> it, it is now. <laughs> All right, chat. Let's see what you got. If you guys have any questions for Neato Queen, um, why is cat so cute? I don't know. <laughs> why is cat so cute? I don't know. He's just such a nice person. Well, there you have it. Do you ever mm -hmm. consider streaming other games as well as Rocket League? I think yesterday you did um, Beat Saber, right? Yes, I did stream Beat Saber. I think in the future, oh my god, I've been like pondering this so much, but in the future, I'd actually really love to do like baking streams because I love baking and I love cooking. I, I would just don't, definitely watch that. Like no, I joke don't have. At all. Yeah, I don't have like a good kitchen, like a good enough kitchen in my oven right now is ancient. So like I, I think later on, like in my streaming career, I would like to do like. Like full on, like multi camera, like like <laughs> like cooking streams, like, and I would love to um, incorporate like my Rocket League friends in that as much as I can. I I think Rocket League will forever remain like my core community simply because it's just one of those games where I found it I find it hard to like picture myself playing it. Yeah. Uh, or not play like I hard myself picturing myself like stop it stop playing it like yeah. I can always pick it up like yeah. always be able to pick it up so and I feel like um, once you get to a certain yeah. point like when you have a community and stuff like they're your community and like I feel like if they're a great community like I feel like you've built such a great community that if you went to anything like they would hang out just because of like they're there for you there's and a I lot there's like, a lot of yeah. people that I'm very grateful for because they do take their time out of their day to to come and experience like stuff that isn't Rocket League like right even right now even though it's like I guess Rocket League-esque like it's yeah. just me hanging out outside and I know I can see several people in chat that I see yeah on the daily baking <laughs> streams PK also does some baking streams and I like he kind of low-key inspired me because um I, oh god I just wish I had a better kitchen yeah. I watch a lot of baking shows I got Kevin to start watching baking shows Let's with go. me. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's a good, it's a good time. All right, well, if you start baking streams, like invite me and like I'll I'll travel there and we'll do yeah a, yeah we'll do a baking stream together. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking it would be so funny to have like you know me and then like maybe somebody notable in the Rocket League community come and I have like they have to bake it alongside me. Yes. And it'll be kind of like this, where it'll like I'm talking like, to them about yeah, yeah. you know Rocket League, but we're trying to bake. Something. It'll be like nailed it, but like yeah, Neato yeah. Queen edition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just I really love um, cooking and baking, so I want to incorporate that one day. Love it. I saw some steaks she made that look so yummy. Ooh, steaks. I have really a kitchen right um, portion in my Discord. Oh, that's. I cool. don't mention it because I you know I'm trying to avoid all the kitchen jokes, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, any tips to give before going into a scrim? Do you have any uh, experience with 
Um, scrimming, I don't really have a ton of experience with that, but if you're going into like a long ranked competitive session, um, I always recommend going into free play and just like doing every single basic that your brain can think of, like yeah. um, half flipping, kickoff, stuff like that, where you can kind of warm yourself up. So you got your basic mechanics down. I always do. And then I always try and work on one specific thing that I'm that I'm trying to improve on for like 10 or 15 minutes before I go into like a, a like a rank session or a rank yeah. line. Yeah. Yeah, so that I think a lot of people take warming up for granted in the Rocket League community. Um, uh, I've noticed like I've noticed a change for sure cuz I've started to warm up before, you know, grinds and I just I practiced never did like, when I first started. I practiced yeah. just flying upside down for like a few minutes. So like even that like then my car control just feels a lot more stable, I guess. Yeah, but, no, yeah. for sure. I agree. Just warm like warm up, up chat. Mm -hmm. Before you do anything. <laughs> that applies to not just Rocket League. <laughs> Um, this is the one I'm still trying to get over, but listen to music you can vibe to at a low volume, but where you can still hear it while calming. It also can help reduce nerves. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's interesting. That's a new strat. Uh, any advice on keeping positive mentality when playing Rocket League? Dr. Dan, that's a great question because I feel like that it's so, is a great it's question. so, so, so easy. To... He's asking it because I want to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fantastic human being. Um, keeping a positive uh, mentality in Rocket League is not as easy as it seems, especially if you're not somebody who regularly has like positive like internal dialogue. Yeah. Um, I definitely am not. I I struggle with anxiety, and you know I've st I struggled with that my whole life. So. Being able to kind of change my mentality in the context of Rocket League was difficult for me, but I think the best thing you can do, like again, like I said before, like focus on yourself. Yeah. Like you are, the, you, you will, you have to focus on yourself if you want to get better. Yeah. Um, if you are okay with your skill or whatever, then you know, and you're not trying to get better, then realize that and start playing for fun and start yep. like taking things less seriously. Yep. Um, I think people just people like just go back to when you first started playing Rock League and remember how it made you feel then and try and like tap into that. Um, confidence is key. So if there's something that you realize is making you mad in a game like kickoffs or your 50 50s are just awful then you have to take a step back and think okay why are my 50 60s bad i make really bad risk calculating decisions okay then now you have to kind of keep that in the back of your mind and every time you do it you shouldn't get mad at yourself yeah because you know it's a problem of yours yeah. you just need to, you just need to remember not to do it next time or yeah. if I, you have horrible kickoffs then you need to work on those kickoffs but if you don't actually put the time in to do it then yeah it'll be difficult too and then that's when I go back to, if you're not putting the time in or you don't want to, then you have to start playing Rocket League again, just for fun. And yeah. you have to stop thinking about things so seriously. So yeah. yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. Love that. What do I use when my palms get sweaty during Rocket League? It's really annoying. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny that you ask. You should totally try out some game Ragu because it's like um, deodorant for your hands. <laughs> It's an anti-sweat solution. I, I know I'm not on your stream right now, but I'm holding up my Gamer Goo bottle. I'm pretty sure he can see it. Um, no, but I am I not sponsored laughing. by them. I started laughing when that came in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I did buy a bottle of Gamer Goo when I was at DreamHack, and I'm, I kind of preached it a little bit on my streams because I didn't realize how much of an impact it would have on my life until I started using it. And... <laughs> Boy, it just makes so much of a difference when I'm like, I play so many ones and there are so many times where like towards the end of my rank or my ones grind where my my fingers are physically <laughs> slipping off of my joysticks and it's so annoying. But now, thanks to Gamer Goo, that no longer happens. So yeah, that's what that is. And you're like, Gamer Goo, I'm yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, I make a big deal out of it as a joke. And you know, if they notice me, they notice me. They have like followed me, but they haven't took no action. So yeah. we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I think that's going to be about time for the questions. Um, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching. We're about to jump into show matches, so I hope you stick around for those. We got some really, really awesome ones coming up. Maybe we'll have to get you and Kevin in for some 
uh, for a show, a show match one day. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll match you up um, against some, some other people. Sure. So I'll keep my eye out for your registration. All right, perfect. Yeah, it's always on Wednesday morning. So self plug. Um, cool. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, thank you so much for being here, guys. Say Thanks bye to Nito. And uh, bye, yeah. guys. Have we'll a wonderful rest of your stream. Good luck, show match people. Thank you so much. You're welcome. See you, dude. Peace. Hmm. <laughs>